Hello and welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today we're going to be reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2019. This will be a three-card general spread, so please take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest behind and get a personal reading on my website, LadyScorpiusTarot.com, as well as Instagram, Tarot by Scorpius. You can also send me an email at LadyScorpiusTarot um, at iCloud, sorry. I don't know why I got to bring it forward. But anyway, let's get straight into it. Like I said, give me a big fat thumbs up. I want to say thank you for the new subscribes and new likes. I really appreciate that. This is for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Universal Spirit, give me messages for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2019. What messages do you have for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2019? Actually, you give me messages. I ask for your messages I love, light, and clarity for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2019. What messages do you have for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2019? What messages do you have for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, May 2019? I ask for your messages I love, light, and clarity for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. My tour is summer rising for the month of May 2019. How much do you have for my tour is summer rising? Oop. Too many cars. Definitely see some of you guys waiting on your harvest, like waiting on your fruits to come about. What message do you have for my tour is summer rising Venus? One more card. Tour is summer rising Venus for May 2019. Came back out again. Must have been meant to be. Over energy Taurus is the chariot, okay? And you guys could be connected to a cancer. You guys are focused on moving forward from something. Maybe you guys are moving out of a relationship, moving out of third parties, moving out of confusion, moving out of people not really speaking their truth, okay? Because with the chariot card, this is definitely you taking control over the situation that you're facing and moving forward and trying to find balance between all of the chaos. You see the horses. You got dark versus light, okay? Neg dark energy versus light energy. You guys are finding a balance at out of that okay and with the marriage card we see some of you guys definitely are connected to an earth sign towards virgo capricorn that you are trying to move away from you're trying to move out of this marriage you're trying to move out of this marriage one second you guys hello okay sorry about that Sorry about that. But yes, you guys are moving out of a situation, okay? Some of you guys could be moving out of a merge or moving forward with a merge. But we'll, we will see once we clarify everything, okay? All right, the first card we have is the Three of Cups, followed by the Five of Wands, okay? Then we have the King of Swords. Some of you guys are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. We have Fire Energy, to Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Um, we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male. Some of you guys are connecting with a, a air sign individual that you have been fighting over, okay? And then we have the Five of Wands again. So, Five of Wands, not Five of Swords, sorry. But, yeah, a lot of conflict, a lot of competition, a lot of different opinions that you guys are going through, okay? You guys are wanting to move out of that situation, moving out of third-party situations, um, people that, you know, you feel like... I don't feel like this is, like, a reconciliation. I don't feel like this is you... Um, reconciling with somebody or going to meet somebody okay i feel like you guys were involved in a third party situation and you wanted the truth and you wanted honesty about the situation because it caused a lot of confusion you had too many people in your relationship too many different things going on okay this can also be work related maybe this is like something like maybe you got into a, some type of fight at a work event or at like a family event maybe because i mean three of cups can represent reunions and celebrations so maybe you guys went to a celebration and got Got into it with somebody, got into a fight. I'm seeing that as well. <laughs> I'm seeing that as well for some of y'all. But um, I'm definitely seeing somebody wanting to speak up and speak their truth about a lot of confusion, a lot of different people in your relationship, a lot of third party action. Um, let's go straight into it. Why is the three of cups here for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May? Three cards came out. Okay, yeah. Some of you guys feeling like you are stuck in the third party situation and you want this person to come in with the truth, but it's been like a lot of arguments, a lot of defensiveness between you and this person. Like you're trying to find the strength and courage to talk to this person, but it's been a lot of 
it's just been a lot of like defensiveness, okay? And this person can also be Aries, so this person can be really controlling, okay? And maybe some you, some of you guys are dealing with somebody that's incarcerated, but I'm seeing some um a lot of control in the situation, and you are tired of the defensiveness and feeling stuck and trapped, feeling like you can't move forward out of this situation when you can. It's a lot of competition and confusion, and a lot of chaos going on between y'all. I see you guys literally fighting, okay? Some of you guys definitely got to a physical fight or altercation with somebody over their party situation, okay? Yeah, you want to be single. Work on your money and your finances. Let's see. Why is the top of the wands here? Why is the top of the wands here? I just kind of want here for two or three minutes. Ooh, too many cards. I just kind of want here for two. Oh my gosh. I can't make it up. Way too many cards. Deception with the Seven of Swords, Taurus, definitely a lot of secrets and lies coming out. You need to make a decision if you're going to move away from the situation, move forward. And hold on to what you believe in. Hold on to your feelings. But with the Ace of Cups, there's something new coming in. Definitely. Maybe somebody was dealing with somebody new when you found out about it. Okay? And it caused a lot of issues. Okay? Maybe your partner was dealing with somebody else. And you found... Yeah. And now you want to get it... You want to end this. Justice card could be legal issues. Maybe you guys are working on taking somebody to court. Fighting for something, some type of legal issue, okay? Um, you feel like it's a lot of burdens on your back, or you had to invest a lot into the situation. Oh, too many cards. But definitely feeling heartbroken. Oops. Heartbroken, betrayed, backstabbed, possibly by a Libra. And defensive. Why is the King of Swords here? The King of Swords here, the Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2019. Why is the King of Swords here? Clarify the King of Swords. The Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of May 2019. Definitely, okay, so some type of, okay, with the King of Swords, they can be coming in with some type of communication about feeling like they know that they left you feeling stuck lost, heartbroken, betrayed, okay? Could have been third-party situations. This could have been your soulmate, okay? Um, some of you guys are doing for Capricorn, towards a Virgo individual as well. But I see some type of communication coming in about that, about third-party situations, about feeling emotionally confused, lost, stuck, holding on to the old feelings, okay? Needing to, to let it go. Not realizing that it's two more opportunities to make it right, okay? Maybe somebody want to come in with the truth and they want to fix it, yeah. Empress card. Some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo, but I feel like somebody want to come in and nurture the situation because they feel like you already wish fulfillment, but it just was a lot of bullshit that had to be cut out. Okay? A lot of bullshit that had to be cut out. Yeah, once again, some of you guys have definitely felt like it was too much of an investment and you just were just focusing on your coin, your money, um, and saving and all that, working hard and ending something that was just too much of a burden, too much of a toxic thing. Could be with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Earth signs with Virgo, Capricorn. Let me know if it resonates. Yeah, and you guys gonna be getting victory over defeatment and going through all the burdens and trials and tribulations that you went through within this relationship. This is definitely a relationship reading. Yeah, but somebody gonna come in with an offer, some type of new offer because they know that they hurt you. Okay, well this could be you. Some of you guys are dealing with the Pisces. I guess. Let's see. Give me one more clarify. Give me one more clarify for this five of wands. Let's see what's going on with this five of wands with my Taurus Sun Moon Rising and Venus for May 2019. Why's this five of wands here? Some of you guys are taking isolation. You're going into hermit mode. Isolate yourself to find a better perspective about things. Get higher learning, higher education. Just focusing on self-love. Healing as well. Getting clarity. Going inside the darkness to find the light. Um, after all of the chaos and confusion, okay? Some of you guys just want to go into isolation mode, be by yourself. After all the burdens and battles that you went through with this individual. Why is the Five of Wands here for my tourist on Moon Rising and Venus? Some of you guys definitely been isolating yourself from friends and drama and everything else. Yeah, some of you guys are just working on being single. And Five of Wands again, just ending things and becoming single. Ending the battles, ending the fights, ending the burdens. 
focusing on your money, focusing on your finance, and you will get success. Will of fortune, new car, new house, new money, new opportunities. Um, good luck. You understand? That's what the universe is bringing you. So I hope my messages resonate. Please give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next month.